Hi hey guys, I'm doing another Metal Dragons video, and this time I'm just doing steals. To make sure I only get steals, I'll go up to the Ice Fortress, uh, plus it's a lot less crowded up there. Uh, also, this time I'm using the Polypore Staff. Um, and Karasi's Sword just for the spec specials attacks um i've got gnats and a fire staff to alk the rune items except for the stackable stuff and the rune bars so because i'm gonna be staying there for a long time and i won't have room for all that stuff um uh, and I'm bringing anti-fire potions and no prayer potions because I'll only have to pray against melee for uh, a little bit before they become not aggressive. And then I can just fight them from a distance. Um, I have 11 since last time I had 12 and I had an extra one and a half extras. <clears throat> so I'm wearing the Dagon High robes. Uh, you can just use the Mystic if you want, because the Dagon High just has a bonus, a prayer bonus. That's all that's different from it of it. Um, <clears throat> you could also get RMs if you can afford it, but I just didn't feel like spending that much money. I do have enough for it, but I'd rather spend it on skills. So, um, also I wear a god cape because that has a, um, a magic bonus. And if you have runic ac accuracy, that's a good thing to bring. So I'll get going. I'll probably just show you the first couple kills just to see what the polypore staff is like there and then I might just uh, stop the video and then just record any good drops I get so yeah I like to lure them closer to this uh, little spot here because um, I think if you go too far away from the, from the one spot then they'll become aggressive again. But I have gone all the way over to here before um, without them becoming aggressive again. So... And sometimes uh, this dragon up here attacks you while you're trying to get a drop. So it's good to lure this guy closer to. Also, I brought a Vecna's skull. for the magic boost. You can also bring like magic potions or extreme magic potions, but I think the Vecna skull would be uh, saving money in the long run. And I guess extreme magic potions might be better than Vecna skull, but I don't know. Here I just decided to show you the little bit 
more than halfway point. Uh, I forgot to record the effigy, and I just got the loop half of a key. So I got, as you can see, I got quite a few charms. Last time, at the end, I had like 170 green charms and 50 gold and crimson charms. So I didn't get any watermelon seeds last time, though. But I'll come back when I'm done, I guess. I thought I should probably show you how I um, do the the Karasi sword spec without getting hit too much by the dragons. Um, first you have to have auto retaliate off and then click on the spec and then click on the dragon and then you gotta click one away a little bit away from the dragon than you already are and then you'll go quick to the dragon and then quick back so then you won't get hit by it also I should probably note that you have to spam click further away from the dragon than you already are or else they'll probably hit you then oh nice a clue scroll Okay, so I used up all the charges on my polypore staff, and this is all the loot I got, plus charms and an effigy, and it's worth 464,000. Last time I got about 1.4 million gold pieces worth of loot, but that included an elite clue scroll. This is a hard clue scroll, but that elite clue scroll had... 340,000 gold pieces and uh, probably only expect to get about 20,000 gold pieces or somewhere around there from this one um, yeah and it's I'm wondering whether it's worth it to have the Vecna skull and Karasi sword because I always forget to do it to do it every time it charges up because you never know unless you keep clicking on it or and stuff but uh, I got about the same amount of charms except I got more blue charms and less green charms than last time so yeah